So wait till you this, this is I'm Amelia, also known as the Martian Geek, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. In the last episode, we finally finished the side quests for right now. We beat up some soldiers at their request, or at least their commanders, and now it's time to actually move on to the story. Or move on with the story. So, Mayor Klaus. We need to talk to him, and actually, where is the mayor anyway? Oh. I'll just look for that convenient sign that says Mayor's Residence. He'll probably be there. Anything interesting to do around his place? No. Didn't think so. Alright, Mr. Mayor. Do you think the Mayor's even in today? Being as busy as he is, I'm sure there's a pretty good chance that he's out. Well, bless my soul, if it isn't Estelle and Joshua. Hi, Mayor Klaus. I hope we're not disturbing you, sir, but we've come on behalf of the Bracer Guild about a job you requested. Yes, I heard from the Guild that the two of you would be coming. So, you're taking over your father's work while he's away, are you? Well, we're trying to, at least. I'm very sorry about my dad reneging on his promise like this. There's no need for apologies. Knowing your father, it's typical for him to be swamped with work like this. Anyway, with Lita and my wife out and about, I'd like to move this conversation somewhere else. Why don't we head upstairs to my study and go over the details? In, in truth, I don't think you'll find this request particularly difficult. And it's for that reason, I think, that asking the guild to do the j this job may have been a bit presumptuous. Unfortunately, I'm unable to get away from my work, and I had to break down and ask the guild for help. We were informed that this job involves the transport of a certain something, but what is it exactly that you would like us to carry, and where? I would like you to pick up a septium crystal from the Melga Mine and deliver it here. When you say septium, do you mean like sepith that we often come across? Accurately speaking, sepith is fragmented septium that is too small to be used as precious stones. Therefore, this sepith is refined and processed into quartz, which can be installed in ornaments. So that's the difference, huh? I think I've got a better grasp on things now. We've actually been able to obtain a certain kind of septium called Esmalus from the Amalgam Mine since the olden days. However, since a large piece of this crystal was recently discovered, I've asked the Mine Chief to hold on to it until someone could pick it up. So, you'd like us to pick up this crystal from the Mine Chief and bring it here, is that correct? Precisely. What do you think? Is this something you think you can handle? The transport of a precious gem, huh? Will be a nice change from fighting monsters, should keep us on our toes, too. Alright, we'll do it. I appreciate your willingness to help. Please take this with you. Three referral. If you show that to one of the workers, they should let you into the mine. Good luck. Alright, is there anything back here? Well, he is the mayor. He does have a pretty big house. Mylene, I heard from Lita that the, veg the vegetables from the Purzel farm haven't arrived. I wonder what's going on. Well, they were crop munchers. That's what was going on. Alright, I think that is all we can do here. Oh, there's a maid. I thought he said that Lita was gone. Yeah, like I said, there were crop munchers. So, another thing. There's a typo. A, mem a member of the Verte Brigdi garrison. I think that's supposed to be Bridge. I noticed it when I was fighting them, and I had to re-record last part because I accidentally forgot to have my recorder open. Brilliant. But, yeah, um, if I could ever remember which button is the map. So, now we need to go to the mine. Yeah, you might have noticed the way to the mine last time we were on the Melga Trail, or the time before that, for that matter. So we can pretty much just ignore everything. I mean, we could farm the 
lily movers for more water sepith. But I just don't really feel like taking the time right now. And you know, maybe some of the enemies in the mine will have some. So this should be, yeah. Right up here. Oh, hello, bug. Yeah, Joshua is looking pretty darn low on CP right now, but at least he has magic now. And I'm not using his S-Craft for getting Sepeth all the time like I am with Estelle. See, we're already 20 up from where we were before. One experience point for everyone, yay! So over here... And more bugs. Quit fighting me, you're only worth one experience. Okay, now why did that one deal 18 damage when the other one only dealt 9? I think there are actually slightly different strengths of monsters. Yeah, see, that one only did 9 too. Like, it'll be the same monster, but some of them are slightly bigger and have slightly better stats. No real way to tell which is which, though, especially since they both have 200 base HP. Eh, hit the wrong one. Oh well. I can take 9 damage in exchange for a few more HP. Or CP, I mean. Yes, taking damage gives you more HP. Uh, not likely. So this was the area, actually, where we were for the Mushroom Quest. Uh, shoot. Okay, it wasn't a surprise attack, at least. Honestly, I don't really know why I'm even going over here, because... Um... We've already been there. For the mushroom thing. Move into the radius. Thank you. And miss. Even more thank you. So, got all three of them. Always good. Even though that rightmost one really looks like it should not be getting hit. That's that. Let's move it. Ooh, got three experience from that battle. Ooh, ah. This was where the mushroom was, right? I just don't really want to fight more beetles. Yeah, we've totally been up there. That is where the mushroom was. So, now we're going this way. Angry Beetle! You know what? Not worth it. Monsters, no more monsters, alright. So we can't change the camera in this room. Fortunately, there's not much to it. Hello, sir. This is the entrance to the Melga Mine. If you're not here in business, then I'll have to ask you to leave. Well, you're in luck. Believe it or not, here well, we are here on business. Roland's Mayor Klaus has asked that we come here and pick up a certain Septium Crystal. Well, alright then, if you got a referral from the mayor, that's a different story. I don't mean to make your job any more difficult, but would you mind going inside and speaking with the boss directly? I'm supposed to stand watch out here. Sure, that's fine, but why the boss? We're actually here to see the mine chief. That mine chief you're talking about is actually our boss, Mr. Gatan. He manages the mine and all of its workers. He's the kind of guy who enjoys discovering a septium load more than eating three meals a day. Ah, so maybe he's a dragon. I'm fairly sure he's working down in the lower tunnels today. Thanks for the tip. We'll go see if we can locate him. <coughs> Alright, so here we are in the mine. Do we go left or do we go right? Also new dungeon music. So, uh, let's see. 
So there's a minecart there, because it just wouldn't be a proper mine in a video game without minecarts. Anything over here? Nothing. Wait, what's even the purpose of this area? Anyway. Check it out, it's a minecart. Do you think it's powered by ordnance too? Looks that way to me. How about we get in and see where it takes us? Do 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 Hello. Great Idios, what are you kids doing down here? Are you friends with someone who works here in the mine? Not exactly, we've come to see the mine chief at the request of the mayor. Oh, so you're here about the crystal, are you? Well, if you're looking for the boss, he should be in the tunnels below. If you use the elevator at the end of the tracks on the opposite side of the mine, you can get down there. The end of the tracks on the opposite side of the mine? When you were riding in the minecart, you noticed a place along the way where the track diverges, right? If you follow that other line, you'll reach the elevator. In order to get there, you'll have to go back to where you came from and flip the lever to activate the track switch. So I guess we wouldn't actually have talked to him if we'd flipped it from the start. Yeah, you'd think that minecart uh, minecarts wouldn't be as common in RPGs, but it seems like even then you get some... Like, this game, Super Mario RPG. I want to say Final Fantasy VI had something like that. I forget if Chrono Trigger did. This is the elevator we're supposed to use to reach the lower tunnels, right? Why doesn't it work? Let me have a look. There's orbital energy running through it, but it appears to be mechanically locked. Maybe we should go back and ask that miner about it. Well... I guess we're switching the track again. Two more times, in fact. So maybe we should have gone that way first. Also different camera angle now for reasons. What would happen if we like... What's that you say? The elevator wouldn't work. Ah, I see what the problem is. You need the key to activate it. But since you don't have one of your own, I'll help you out by lending you mine. Much appreciated. Once our business here is finished, we'll make sure to return it. And back we go. Try out all the different camera angles. I'll try using that key we just borrowed. We should be able to get the elevator working this time. It looks like we can use the elevator now. How about we head down into the lower, lower tunnels? Eh, should have changed the camera angle by then. So, lower tunnels go. And now we have a choice of four pathways. So we have a thing over there. And we have a recharging station. Well, we're missing some HP and EP, so might as well. That's actually the first one of those we've seen since the Roland Sewers. So yeah, the mines are basically our first real dungeon of the game. Second if you count the tutorial. And then the path branches even more there. Yeah, this place is confusing. So that goes nowhere. This branch goes... Hello there. Eek, you scared me there for, this, for a second. So you're looking for the mine chief, are you? I'm sure he's somewhere across the bridge. Actually, last time I said something was our second real, our second dungeon, I turned out to be wrong. So, my memory of this game is not as good as it should be, especially considering how much I like the series. You'd think I'd know. 
You said you're looking for the Mine Chief? He was here a moment ago. Oh well, yeah, I haven't played it since 2015, but... The reason why we've been able to work like we have is due to the grace of the Goddess herself. We best remember to give thanks. Okay, so we came from that direction. Over here, a couple more guys. Oh man, I ate a ton of food, but now I'm hungry again. Me. Maybe I ought to try sneaking off to town for lunch again. It looks like Trent was cutting work again. I can't believe he's still pulling the same stunts after that last year fall he got from the boss. Well, process of elimination. Are you the mine chief? Well, you have a mustache, so you must be. Heaven and Earth, what are two kids like you doing down here in the mine? In a mine, in a mine. You're the mine chief, right? Boy, am I glad to see you. We've been searching all over this dank place for you. We're with the Bracer Guild, and we've come today on behalf of Mayor Klaus. Hmm, I see. So your kids are Bracers, are you? That's quite a feat for being so young. Tee <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. By the way, you're supposed to have some sort of crystal for us, right? All right, give me a second. This little baby is something you don't see every day. Which is why I've been keeping it as close to myself as possible. In a mine, in a mine, in a mine, in a mine, where a million steptium crystals shine. Wow. I've never seen a crystal this big before. That is impressive. There seems to be light swirl around, swirling around inside, too. It's one of several types of septium. Specifically, it's an Esmalus crystal, which is endowed with the power of wind. For a gem of this size, you're looking at a hefty price tag. I'm talking about a small fortune here. Make absolutely sure that this gets to the mayor. Roger that. It's so beautiful. It feels like I'm carrying a little fairy in my hand. This is super fun! Check this out, Joshua! Okay, Estelle. That's nice and all, but how about you stop horsing around? If you drop it, we could be in some real trouble. Fine, you big, ch big killjoy. Well, I guess that's that. We'll get out of your hair now, Mr. Gatan, but don't worry, we'll make sure this gets to the mayor. The mayor. I'm counting on you, kids. Huh? What's the matter? That's odd. The airflow down here suddenly shifted. The airflow? The scent, it's... Whoa! Ah! Is, is it over? Is that an earthquake just now? No, it seems that there's been a cave-in somewhere within the mine. I wonder if one of the miners hit a patch of loose ground. I better check on the extent of the damage. Look out, Estelle! What? Suddenly, crab! Well, I don't get boss music this time, it can't be too important. Killer Crab has a tough shell and can call for backup. So we have our first monster that can actually summon more monsters. Let's see how they like tornadoes. Let's go for that point. up there. Actually, I should have moved her where the crab would be more likely to get within the radius of the spell. Oh well. Not two of them anyway. It is a critical bonus. And they only drop... Well, they dropped Earth, Water, and Mirage. I guess I could get some extra water out of them, but... It doesn't really seem worth it. And yeah, we have another NPC battle. Or NPC in the battle, rather. Oh dear. 
Well, it still only did 13 damage. It's the boots, I'm telling you. Almost ready to level up, so... Why are there... Do you usually have problems with monsters like this? No, this is the first time we've ever had anything like this happen down here. Monsters have a predisposition that attracts them to the glow of Septium. So we've had a lot of them wander into the mine in the past, but... Judging from the situation, it may be that the recent, the recent cave-in opened up a hole connected to a den of monsters. Did you say a den of monsters? It's not inconceivable. But this is no time to be standing around thinking about it. I've got to get the other workers out of here. If that's the case, then how about letting us help you out? You're kidding, right? Monster extermination is right up our alley, and besides, every minute counts. You're right, some extra help would be much appreciated. So how many miners are we looking at in all? There should only be four others working here in the lower tunnels. Got it, now let's go find them. Sorry about all this. Alright, take these and use them if you need to. Couple of healing items, that'll help. So what I want to know is, what are crabs doing underground? We're nowhere near a beach. Uh, good job, you missed a giant crab. Attack its weak point for massive damage. Oh good, this will hit both of them on a separate that turn. Maybe after this mission we'll be able to open up another one or another slot. Where do I actually want to be right now? Hey. Well, might as well. Still have both characters above 100. And double level up. Hey, I still got a new craft! And we got some decent water, Sepith. So now we have to remember the layout of this place. O oh, Idios, who art in heaven, extend to us thy saving hand. Hey, idiot! If you got time to pray to the goddess, then how about helping me take care of these creatures? Crab! Did someone say more tornadoes? Yes, come to me, my pretty. Come and get your delicious tornado. And now they only deal 6 damage to Joshua. Well, or 33 sometimes. And again, missed one of them, but whatever. They drop Earth and Mirage, right? Earth, Water, and Mirage, I mean. And we're down to one crab. Please don't go for the Mine Chief. That would be bad. Go for the person who just hit you with the stick. Or don't. Fine. See if I care. So we let the NPC take damage. And I'm not sure if he actually heals between battles or not. Is everyone alright? We are now, thanks to you kids. This must also be the divine work of Adios. What a religious nut. If this was really the work of the goddess, then she wouldn't have allowed us to get into this mess in the first place. It's because of unbelievers like you that unfortunate accidents like this happen. How about you try and say that again, buddy? Is this really the time or place for that kind of nonsense? Now get out of here! Right away, boss! You be careful too, boss! Idios hates 
something. Crab. Just sitting there. Okay, so he is back to 200 HP. So as long as he doesn't take 200 damage in one battle... We should be good. Yeah, I told you I'd get more water, Sepeth. Okay, so the other side of the bridge... There's different stuff. Dude, don't come any closer. I'm not trying to brag, but I'm all muscle, so I wouldn't make a tasty meal. Would that make you more tasty? And me too. I'm not delicious either. All this flab would be terrible for a monster's health. Somebody call for some seafood? So Estelle actually, Estelle actually can't attack that one. Come and get me. Okay, managed to get all three of them this time. And honestly, we can pretty much spam our magic as much as we want now because there's an orbit charging station literally right there. Still, his stuff would start dropping more than two Sephith, but whatever. Or two per element. You're safe now, guys. Thank you for coming when you did. Oh man, for a minute there, I thought I'd never be able to sit down for another meal again. This is no time to feel relieved. We need to evacuate this place. Any more lollygagging and you're going to be sitting in the belly of one of these monsters. Yes, boss. Wait for me. I mean, okay, the crabs are big for crabs, but they're not that big. I mean, if you were to be sitting in their belly, you'd have to get chopped up into pieces first. Whoop. Hey! Well, let's see how they like squirt guns. Back up, eh? That just means one more monster to tornado. Okay, good. That means they didn't get the Sabbath up. It really doesn't matter at this point. You'd think a miner would be at least a little bit better at dealing with giant enemy crabs. I mean, they're supposed to be pretty burly for what they do, right? Where's our... Might as well heal up because it's right here. Okay. So we're back to the initial path split. Ah! Things aren't supposed to go like this! I don't want to die! I haven't even had a girlfriend yet! Me. <laughs> Help! What? We still got another one down here. We better hurry and rescue him. 
And more crabs. So much crab. Very much more crab. Come here. Do zero damage to me. Oh no, three damage, whatever shall I do? Probably should have checked the HP of him, but I don't think it really matters at this point. Because I can do enough damage to get rid of the rest of him anyway. Eh, went for the wrong one. Oh, you know, I haven't actually shown off Estelle's new craft yet. Well, maybe I can do that next fight or something. I'm pretty sure we don't get a boss battle in the mine, but I'm not positive on that. Oh man, you kids saved my skin. Don't worry, you're safe now. A handful of monsters are no match for the likes of a bracer. Did you say b, -b bracers What are you doing in a place like this? By the soot on my boots, you're the new recruit from yesterday. Why on earth are you digging down here in the lower tunnels? I, uh... I was hoping to get a glimpse of how you, all you veteran miners work down here. Yeah, that's it. And suddenly the wall collapsed and a flood of monsters came in from the other side. So, we've got ourselves a veritable nest of monsters now, huh? It looks like you guessed right, kid. So it seems... The area up ahead is dangerous. It's swarming with monsters. Anyway, I'm out of here. Would you look at him run? He must have been really scared. I bet. So that place with all the mist, I would assume, is where all the monsters are. Oh! Crab! Only one of them, at least. Did not even see that one there until it was far too late. I'm noticing a distinct lack of treasure chests around here, too. So, let's go ahead and take this passage. Hey, where are you going? That way leads to the monster den. The bedrock is also still unstable, so how about we do ourselves a favor and keep away from there? It certainly doesn't look that safe, either. Alright, let's turn back. Well, now wait a minute, I thought we were supposed to go that way. Okay. Guess we're going back up, then. Did we find everybody? Yes, that should be everyone. Alright, then let's get out of here ourselves. Are you alright, boss? I'm sure glad you're safe. You can thank these kids for that. By the way, is everyone accounted for? Yep, everyone's here. Well, except for the new guy who took off like a bat out of hell. The poor guy must have wet himself scared. I see. Well, I hope he doesn't give up on being a miner after this. Anyway, there's a high possibility that there are monsters still in the lower tunnels. Until we can confirm that it's safe, I don't want anyone using the elevator, you hear me? That was a huge miscalculation on my part. I never expected monsters to surface or bracers to show up. I guess I just have to report the truth about everything that happened. Mysterious? I forget who he is, but... I apologize for getting you involved in more than your fair share of work today. I'll get in touch with the guild a little later on make sure you two are compensated fairly. Don't sweat it, we just did what anyone would have done in our position. And besides, it's all a part of our training to become full-fledged bracers. By the way, what do you intend to do about the lower tunnels? I don't know, but we'll figure, you know, we'll figure out some way to deal with it. There's always the option of sealing off the monster den with some explosives. As a heads up, I may ask the guild for help if we run into any other serious trouble. Sure, you can count on us. And we'll make sure this crystal gets to the mayor as intended. You did make sure that you didn't drop it, right, Estelle? How rude, I'm not that careless. Look, it's right... 
you didn't. You lost it? Psych, I got it right here. Let's go make that delivery, shall we? You are unbelievable. Young lady, those are the kind of words that'll give an old man like me a heart attack. Alright, so I guess mission complete. I remember there being more to that dungeon, to that area too. I'm not. Does that actually even count as a dungeon? I mean, we did fight monsters in it. More beetles! Not worth it. You know, they really should have the monsters run away from you once you get to a certain level. They do it in, tra in Trails of Cold Steel. Didn't even see that one. And there's only one, we can just beat it up. So I think I still need a little bit of fire sepith. Fire and wind. Not much. Uh, monster manual. I forget if these things drop. Okay. Just water and space. And we don't need either of those. I think there is a flying cat on the way back. Maybe we can fight that. Hello, cat. Okay, they drop fire. And they get critical hits in on us. And it still only does four damage. Okay, so two wind is all we need. Let's see, what actually drops wind? Well, the hornets do, but I don't really want to go all the way down there. Well, guess we could fight some moth clusters. <laughs> Surprise attack and they still didn't get to go first. I guess the cats aren't really actively attacking us anymore, it seems like. They're low, uh, low level enough not to bother us. Especially if they keep missing like that. That's that. Let's move out. Okay, back to town. And let's see. Well, why don't I go into the sewers first? Then we can fight some moths. And we can heal up. Come on, just need you to land one hit. I mean, I guess I could use magic on it, since there's a healing thing right there, but... Whatever. I've been saying that a lot, it seems like. But whatever. 
Oh, actually, maybe I should have done that after opening a cell's third slot. Eh, well. We got away with ADEP before. So let's go ahead and turn this in. Alright, on. I got something to report to you. Or, no, I don't. I'm supposed to talk to the mayor. Right. Oops. Mr. Mayor? Girl in uniform. I see, I would have never imagined that the clock tower had such an anecdote to go with it. I'm totally blown away after hearing that. With war, it's easy to speak of tragedy, but I think what's important is the strength to overcome the pain and establish peace. Well, who do we have here? We've come to deliver the object you requested. Um, did we catch you in the middle of something? Oh, I'm still in Joshua, you no trouble at all. In fact, you've come at a good time. Let me introduce you to my guest. This is Josette. She's a student at the Genus Royal Academy. The Genus Royal Academy? I've heard of it before. It's a boarding school for higher education in the Rouen region, right? Yes, that's right. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Josette Har. I'm Estelle. It's nice to meet you, Josette. You can call me Joshua. The two of them are actually bracers. I had asked them to do a personal job for me. Bracers? You mean the proud knights of freedom who love peace above all else and do not succumb to any power? This is such an inspiring moment. I never thought I'd run into any real bracers. The inspiring part sounds a little much. By the way, it is alright. Is it alright if I just call you Josette? As opposed to... Yes, please do. So why did you come to Roland? Are you a friend of the mayor's? No, today is actually the first time we've ever met. I'm researching the important cultural assets of each region as a part of my independent studies. And although he th I thought he might be busy, I've been lucky enough to get an audience with the mayor. You're really serious about your studies, aren't you? Maybe we're intruding a bit, huh? No, I've already asked the mayor enough questions. Instead, maybe it is I who am in the way. Don't be silly, it's not like that at all. Still, this is a great opportunity, so how about showing her what you've brought with you? Sure, hold on a second. Oh my word, that's septium, right? What a wonderful glow it gives off. Yes, and its size is impressive too. This is indeed a gift worthy of expressing the appreciation of all relevant citizens. A gift? Worthy of expressing our appreciation? I see, so this is a gift for the Queen's anniversary. You're sharp, Joshua. I intend to send an engraved orbment using this to the Queen. As a token of Roland's citizens' appreciation to Her Majesty, who will be turning 60 years old. So it's a present for the Queen. We just said that. How delightful. We as citizens of Liberal owe Her Majesty a great debt for all she has done for us. In fact, the reason why we can use an airliner with such ease is because of the support of the royal family. I've even heard that the Bracer Guild in Liberal has received support from the royal family. We do owe her a great debt of gratitude. Wow, that's pretty amazing. And can you believe it, Joshua? We carried a present for the Queen with these very hands. And what's more, you ran around with it in those hands like a wild maniac. You weren't supposed to tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have imagined anything less from you, Estelle. You guys. Here you go, Mayor Klaus. It has been faithfully delivered. Thank you very much. And as a matter of precaution... Okay, it'll be safe in there. Now all that's left is to have Melder's Orbital Factory finish up the engraving on its orbment. I can't wait to see what it'll look like when it's done. Don't hog it all to yourself when you do. Let me see it too when it's finished, okay? It's too bad I won't be here to see it for myself. But today I was lucky enough to speak with the mayor and see something as beautiful as that. How shall I ever thank you? Don't mention it, this is all part of my job as a mayor. Thank you for everything. But I think it's time for me to say goodbye. 
I think we should be going ourselves. Agreed. Have a nice day, Mayor Klaus. Yourselves as well. So, you're heading home tomorrow on the airliner, are you? Yes, that's right. School's about to begin. I see. So you used your school vacation time to come here. That's too bad. We could have made great friends. I hope we can meet, ag meet again sometime. There's nothing I would like more. Please, have a wonderful day, Estelle, Joshua. What a nice girl. For looking like someone from a rich family, she wasn't snooty at all. Yeah. Joshua. Oh, could I be correct and assume that she's your type? What? Well, what are you talking about? You're blushing. I'm really surprised. I had no idea that you were into the rich girl type. We'll have to get some pickup lines ready for the next time you meet. Quit getting all excited about nothing. Especially when you have no idea what others are thinking. Huh? Just never mind. Anyway, let's report to the guild. The next job we're doing for Dad will be the last one. Oh, right. Alright, let's get pumped and knock this last one out. So, back to the Bracer Guild we go. Hello again, Ina. Good work. It looks like you ran into a bit of trouble at the mine, though, huh? Huh? How do you know? I got a call from the mine. They said that they were incredibly grateful to the both of you. Now how about you give me a report of what happened? Okay then, this is what happened. Giant enemy crabs are what happened. Plus 4 BP and 1500 Mira, still, uh, Mira, still 8th class. Very nice! It looks like you did much more than anyone was expecting from you. Dealing with unexpected accidents is also a part of our mission as bracers. I hope to see more great things from you in the future. You just leave that to us. Well, you don't have to worry about Estelle missing everything, since her nose is always ev and everything. Yeah, what he said. Hey, why are you saying that I'm super nosy like that? Because you are. Your skills lie in being direct, nosy, and naive, right? Isn't that being a bit harsh, Joshua? Are you sure about that? Alright, that's enough, you two. Okay, this is the last of the jobs you'll be doing for Cassius. You've heard of the liberal news, right? We'll be cooperating with them to get some coverage for a news story. Is that the name of the news magazine we bought the other day? What are the chances of that happening? When you say cooperating with them to get some coverage, just exactly what does that entail? It seems that they're looking for a skilled guide because they want to get some shots of a dangerous place. You'll need to ask the reporters directly for the details. The reporter and camera women from the news service are staying at the Hotel Roland. Here's a referral from the guild. Alright, how about we get over to the hotel and talk to these people? Good idea, let's go. Also check this. Lost Kitten. And Ellie's Highway Monster. So just one last thing to do. If I can find where the door is. We're gonna go ahead and open Estelle's third slot. Which is pretty well ensured that we won't be able to open any more slots for a while, but... Okay... Well, I guess I'll give her even more defense. Actually... I wonder... Uh, let's see, I'm looking for a couple specific magic spells. What do they have for sale here again? Okay, EP cut, EP hit. Well, I can figure it off and figure it out off camera anyway. For now, we'll just put the regular old defense quartz in it. 
And another mission down, and we'll continue with the story next time. So, I'll see you then.